subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Do you still remember the electrolysis of molten lead to bromide? Let's refresh your memory. Click and drag the correct information to fill in the information table. Press enter when you're done. From the table, it is clearly seen that there are only one cation, lead two ions and one anion, bromide ion. Both ions will be discharged at the electrode. Now, take a look at the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate. There are two cations and ions in the electrolyte. Only one cation and one anion will be selectively discharged at the electrodes. Which one? At the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain using examples the factor of ions affecting electrolysis of an aqueous solution and write half equations for the discharge of ions at the anode and the cathode. Click on the next button to continue. In the electrolysis of molten electrolyte, one cation and one anion will be discharged at each electrode during electrolysis. In a case where there are two cations and anions, only one cation and one anion will be discharged. How to determine which ion will be discharged? The selection of ion to be discharged at the electrode depends on three factors. The factors are 1. Position of ions in the electrochemical series 2. Concentration of ions in the electrolytes and 3. Types of electrodes used Click the next button to continue. Let's investigate how the position of ions in the electrochemical series influences the selective discharge of ions during the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate solution. Let's predict what will be seen at the cathode and anode. Please fill in the prediction table. When you are done, please press enter. Please fill in the prediction table. When you are done, please press enter and the video clip will begin. Now let's compare between what is predicted and what is observed. In the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate, bubbles of colorless gas are released at the anode. At the cathode, a reddish brown solid is formed. Does your prediction is the same as your observation? Bubbles of colorless gas can be seen at the anode. Do you know what gas is it? Click on the blinking anode to carry out gas test. Yes, the gas relights a glowing splinter. Oxygen gas is released at the anode. Why oxygen? At the cathode, a reddish-brown solid is formed. Copper metal is deposited at the cathode. Why copper is formed? Why not hydrogen gas? In electrolysis of aqueous solution where the electrodes are carbon, Ions to be selectively discharged during electrolysis process are influenced by the positions of ions in the electrochemical series. In electrochemical series, the ease of discharge increase going down the series for both cations and anions. Therefore, the ions that are lower in the electrochemical series will be selectively discharged. Let's analyze the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate aqueous solution where the electrodes are carbon. 
Key in the cations and anions present in the solution. Press enter when you are done. There are two cations, copper 2 ion and hydrogen ion. And there are two N ions, hydroxide ion and sulfate ion present in aqueous solution of copper 2 sulfate. Which ions will move towards anode and cathode? Key in your answer. Press enter when you are done. Copper 2 ions and hydrogen ions will move towards cathode. Chloride ions and hydroxide ions will move towards anode. Now, look at the electrochemical series and decide which ion will be selectively discharged at the electrodes. Key in your answer. Press enter when you are done. At the cathode, copper 2 ions will be selectively discharged because copper 2 ions are lower than hydrogen ions in the electrochemical series. Write half equation and observation at the cathode. Press enter when you are done. Each copper 2 ions receive two electrons at the cathode and copper atoms are formed. A reddish brown solid is formed at the cathode. At the anode, hydroxide ions will be selectively discharged because hydroxide ions are lower than sulfate ions in the electrochemical series. Write half equation and observation at the anode. Press enter when you are done. Each hydroxide ion releases one electron at the anode and oxygen and water molecules are formed. Click on the next button to continue. Electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid now that you know how to use the electrochemical series, let's predict the electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid. Fill in the prediction table. You can refer to electrochemical series in your textbook. Press enter to check your answer. Based on the prediction, explain to class what happened in the electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid. Click on the next button to continue. In this lesson, you have learned that electrochemical series is a list of ions that are arranged in order of ease of discharge. The lower the position of the ions in the electrochemical series, the greater the tendency for the ions to be selectively discharged at the electrodes. The half equations at the two electrodes are dependent on the ions that are selectively discharged. The observation at the electrodes is dependent on the ions that are selectively discharged. The position of the ions in the electrochemical series help to predict the products formed at the cathode and anode of an electrolytic cell. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.